Well, the CMM today is we are 140 people creating new mathematics at a very high standard. We are one of the more productive centers in Latin America. But at the same time, CMM it has a very strong network. We are very involved with the industry and public institutions. We have been uh, critical in some mining projects, and mining is one of the main economic activities of Chile. 40% of our activities is connected with mining at different levels. Optimization of planning, uh, risk analysis, logistic, transportation problems, and also projects connected with the genomic of bioleaching process and so on. We have the largest open pit and the largest underground mine, and both uh, activities uh, produce very interesting challenges from the mathematical point of view. Mathematics is everywhere in the industrial world. It is in developing new products, but it's also in this stage where you want to improve your technologies and you want to, to, to put new technologies from computer science, from modeling into your products. Okay, our lab in CMM is always supporting a lot of projects of biotechnology. This is the main issue of our lab. And with BioSigma and BioLeaching project, what we did for 10 years was to support all this period where they were studying the bacteria that will be inside their technology of bioleaching. So our work consists in uh, sequencing this bacteria and study essentially all the biological elements and the networks inside this uh, bacteria that will help eventually in bioleaching. Okay, it's a little bit difficult to say what is astroinformatics, but I, I will say that it's a uh, use of mathematics, statistics, computer science to solve astronomical problems. We started a project called the High Cadence Transient Survey, where mm. we use the dark energy camera, camera in, in the north of Chile, and we analyze this data, large volumes of data in real time, to discover 60 supernova in six nights. And after some processing, we're about 120 supernova. Astronomy use big computers. We have one of the largest computers in, in South America. With the data that these telescopes cover and the algorithms that uh, Francisco and others we have developed together, we use that computer to cover new supernovas or other type of astronomical events. So the interaction of fundamental research in mathematics and, uh, and applications of mathematics is of central importance. Say, advances in, uh, in applications of mathematics could be hardly achieved without solid theoretical foundations. So it is very important that in a center like ours, uh, both sides of the, of the discipline coexist and, and develop together. CMM has been a central instrument for the development of mathematics in Chile, just in applied mathematics and also, I would say, even pure mathematics. A lot of activity concerning conferences, etc., has been made around the center, and uh, definitely a lot of the visibility of Chilean mathematics is related with what the center has achieved. In our Chilean HAKE project, we have created some uh, simulation tools based on optimi optimization techniques where we have tried to propose sustainable strategies for the management of the Chilean Hague in the region of Valparaiso. And more specifically, we tried to propose also recovery plans. First, we use mathematics to, to model and to analyze this fishery, but also we work, we did a lot of workshop with fishery artisans in order to diffuse our results, but also to obtain some, some feedback from them. CMM has been directing efforts toward education for about 15 years now. I would say that we started mainly uh, thinking about pre-service teachers. We as mathematicians, we thought, well, we can contribute to the formation of new teachers. We don't have a school of education here, but there are many other universities that do it. And so we started to move and take uh, contact with them and collaborate with them. So we, we realized that there has to be made a lot of efforts to improve uh, teaching of mathematics at schools. That's an enormous problem because there are more than 80,000 teachers that teach mathematics at different levels. So it's a huge problem. But we, through different projects, we are attacking this problem now. And that will also have a very big impact, I think. Uh, we will see that in, in not many more years, maybe 
five years we will see difference because of the of the efforts of CNN.